You are now listening to Limited Trust, a Devastator podcast. Let's get into it. Episode 30, boom, boom, boom. Limited Trust, a Devastator podcast. 30 fucking episodes in the bag, man. A shout out to everyone who's heard all of them, man. Fucking, I fuck with you. This week, we got Taro back in here, yo. What's up, man? Yo, what's up? I'm lying. Uh, we couldn't work it out yet. We got to, though. We got fucking busy lives, busy wives, busy kids. But we're working it out. But, motherfucker next episode as long as everything goes smooth the next week's episode is going to be true and myself at true chains and i fucking love him man he is uh i've known him for a while now and he is just a fucking great dude an amazing artist and um i'm happy that he's going to come out and we have uh something in common well all of us have something in common but him and i we like to talk that conspiracy talk and and he knows his shit and he knows a lot about shit so i'm hoping that maybe we'll uh we could dive in and talk a little bit more about that and maybe get some insight on some other shit maybe i haven't heard of yet so i keep fucking with these levels i've restarted this twice because the fucking levels i'm not i'm like not happy with these levels i can't get it right and I'm, anyway so last week right was fucking crazy there was like a crazy hit and run it ended up being behind uh, my house on the street behind us it was like a hit and run a car smashing into a car smashing into a fucking pole all this shit and it sounded like it was right in the front and all the kids were running around playing on bikes and shit or riding bikes playing on bikes fucks wrong with me and this week um i'm sitting here and i'm about to shut the window in, in the bedroom and shit and start all this and i was like you know what man fuck all that i've been acting all fucking oh oh everything's got to be quiet and perfect and you know what this devastator is not about that (laughs) i've been obsessing over a lot of dumb shit and uh i think i mean i know some people like the kind of quiet fucking asmr or whatever but i uh this is it this is it i'm doing a fucking podcast from my bedroom right now and then the next episode we record is gonna be in my fucking garage but it's gonna be a little cold so garage door probably be like half open but um you know, uh, last week opened my eyes to a lot of things and, and, and the excitement of, um, cause I, I got pretty used to doing this. Um, and I know I've talked to a lot of people and told them like, yo, it's fucking difficult to pretend like you're talking. And I probably said it here before to pretend like you're talking to a room full of people, but you're, but you're not. And, and, and that's on many levels. I mean, you are, but you aren't. So, like, right now, I'm just sitting here. The TV's not on. Like, I'm looking at some people that are outside my fucking house that are probably looking at me going, what the fuck? This dude is just in there talking to himself. Which I am. But I'm not, motherfucker. I'm talking to the whole fucking world, bitch. Um, but what I was saying is, is this was getting... Um, it was I was getting easy, complacent, comfortable. And when Taro stop by i had to i had to actually learn how to do this with somebody and and i know most of it is just us talking just chatting and and having a conversation and um but i i also have to try to keep in mind like this has to be somewhat listenable as far as our levels and we got to kind of keep the mics where they're at and you know keep keep so I'm I'm like thinking of all this stuff so I'm like constantly looking and I'm and I'm and I'm engaging in the conversation and I'm thinking of responses and I'm also like checking the level so that's like more difficult than I thought it would be so I give a lot of credit to all these guys that are fucking that are and I and I you know I forgot there was I I had questions that people had asked asked me to ask him and um fucking I, I we probably had another two hours left when uh the computer ran out of memory so 
I don't know how the fuck I'm going to fix that aside from um, getting an external hard drive, which I can't really do right at this moment. Another, an, an additional external hard drive, like the one I have is really old. And it's like 500 gigs. And that's not even what I was using um, when the shit took a shit. I was, uh, I had a 120 gig stick and that fucking ran out. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll run the external as the backup and I'll run the stick again because I got two hours of two tracks out of the stick. So I, but I don't know. I don't know why the fuck it was fucking huge. It took up so much space. Maybe I got to take a break and clear the cache or something. I don't know. Because it said I'm out of fucking memory. And I'm like, dude, and I didn't go through 90 fucking gigs. When I saved both waves, the two-hour waves, they were 1.6 gigs a piece. So, like, the temp files must have been fucking crazy. I don't really know the exact process that this thing uses because I've never actually recorded anything that long. But um, I was like, fuck, man. And I know we were, like, rolling. We were just getting fucking rolling. And, and it had been two hours. And we were just, like, starting to get into stories and shit like that. And all kinds of dumb shit happened. A fucking random cat ran up that looked just like our cat. And I'm like, what the fuck? And the kids are chasing. I'm like, fuck, my fucking, the fucking cat got out. And that'll be the first time he's been out in these streets. And these streets are definitely different than where we came from. That motherfucker would get killed out here, boy. So, um, I'm really excited. And, um, and I want to fucking, I want to start getting some guests, man. I wanna, if you, so if you're fucking, if you can make the trip, you know, or we could figure something out, holler at me, and, um, I think, I think the site here that hosts this, which is Libsyn, has got, um, it's got a pretty decent feature to do a live show, as long as you got, like, a decent mic and a decent computer, I think we can do a podcast uh, remotely and it's not it doesn't fucking act like a zoom thing it's actually pretty fucking pretty clean like the one I did with um, AOL Underground was pretty smooth and it's a similar that was from uh, Zencaster and that was a pretty similar I think a pretty similar setup so your ba- oh, your battery's running low bitch hold on Bitch. What a fucking annoyance. Apparently, I thought this was plugged in all day, and it wasn't. So now we're plugged in anyway. And I don't know. I don't know. It might even be doing that fucking noise shit in the background. That bullshit. I don't fucking know. Unless that's just outside. I don't know why the fuck it does that. And I don't even use headphones while I do this. Like, you're supposed to have headphones and listen to all this shit. That shit's fucking cumbersome and annoying. And it reminds me that I'm constantly, like, doing something when I'm just supposed to be just rapping here, talking that shit. But I had a lot of fun. And uh, I appreciate T coming out and fucking and hanging out and chopping it up. Uh, that, that, was a, that was a real big, important step here. And, uh, and we learned a lot. We learned a lot of things. Um, about how to do this and how to do it better or more efficiently and what I'm going to need to have uh, in the future. And uh, so, now that's out of the way. Excited for True Chains to come through, Big True. Um, that's going to be a fucking, that's going to be a good one. And uh, hopefully I got to read all my little ducks in a row and it, and it works out. So, um, what else we got? What else we got? Oh, so... So this alcohol, this purple alcohol-based fucking stain, old school fucking ink, this is, um, I can call this one an ink because it's an ink. It's not a fluid. The other one, my the original standard damage fluid is the fluid. And um, I, I, I don't know how to say this where it doesn't sound like lackadaisical, right? When I first made the first run of that, I did 
a quote unquote buff test, right? And that shit hit harder than fuck, as always. And it always has. And I, the 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 uh the buff testing, quote unquote, um, was was limited because I couldn't it was fucking hardcore and it still is. And no matter what I changed learning how to make it the best that it could be um no matter what i changed that part was always the same it was just fucking hard as nails it didn't matter what you sprayed on it what you put on it fucking alcohol whatever it like it and if you know and if you've used it before that shit is fucking tough now what it isn't a hundred percent great at is the bleed through because for just for the simple fact that it hardens and i don't know how new you are around here but the standard damage fluid it doesn't dry it hardens okay i mean i guess it's drying but it's what it's doing is is going from a liquid to a solid it's hard it's getting fucking hard pause (laughs) um so essentially it's just turning into a new surface and some colors actually kind of bleed through a little bit, but essentially it's be, it's becoming a new surface. So it's it's pretty paint overable, but it doesn't fade. It it fucking you're not gonna chip it off with your finger. You're not gonna fucking chemical wipe the shit. It, it's fucking hard as nails. Um, but this new shit, this alcohol based shit, this is even different than the black or the red in the past. Those were a lot easier um, to deal with. This fucking violet, to make this shit what it's historically supposed to be, this has been a lot of fucking around, man. I've I've went so far, and I, I haven't done this a lot. Death colors, I fucking rely on them guys a lot for a lot of information because they're just fucking scientists, man. Um, I, I asked and fucking had all kinds of people reach out about this shit. And and I there's I have no fucking shame at all. Like, I have no fucking problem saying, hey, how, how the fuck do you do this? How do you do this? Believe me, there's enough people out there for everybody. How do you do this? How does this shit? Because this is like the old recipe. This is, but it's not. But it is, but it isn't. You know, this is kind of like roots of graffiti, making your own kind of whatever the fuck. And this, this, you know, the violet recipe, the Garvey, whatever the fuck. This one is is entirely from scratch, and that where I, where the standard damage fluid and the black and the red um, and the blue for that matter. I didn't really like that though. That's why you never saw that again. It all has a base that I add to. I get a base. It's fucking looks like looks like sperm. <laughs> Uh, it does. It is co- it's colorless. It's fucking. And then I gotta go from there and and make it what it is. When you get, you know, the regular standard damage fluid, then I have to make it what it is from this base. This other shit, man. This is like fucking straight chemicals and fucking pigments. Like, I mean, I guess so is the other one, but this is. This seems more. It seems more uh, authentic. Oop, I hit the shit. I never hit the fucking mic. Oh, I see what's going on here. Hold on. I'm about to, I'm about to screw this in. Because the mic base is fucking up like 50 pounds. It's not 50 pounds. It's probably 10 pounds. Um, but it's heavy, so I don't want it to fall off when I move this fucker. Um, it's like I'm, I'm fucking building this shit like from nothing from just shit that I'm fucking going to buy and going to order and learning and learning and getting all this weird shit and I've like made connections with these fucking science distributors and shit and and like actually talked with them and I'm I'm explaining like I'm trying to make this because I I know a lot of people out there like fucking you'll be like yo gotta figure that shit out dude I'm trying to bring you the best fucking possible shit I can bring you alright and and I, I don't want to leave it up to me, if that makes sense, to just 
like I, I don't trust myself enough when this is a proven process now if I can get little bits and pieces from all these different processy process I and and make something fucking great out of all of them I th- I mean that's and I think that's that's what I'm doing I'm taking little bits and pieces of all this knowledge that's out there it's all fucking googleable it's all researchable and and even if you don't look up the old graffiti ink if you look up inks in general or fucking stains in general or, or alcohol based inks in general like this shit is thousands of years old some of these you know this this idea of ink and in the way it's used um so there is a lot of literature out there and and if you get out of like the uh, I don't want to say homebrew, but like the um, the basics, the hardware store shit. If you dig dig a little deeper, and 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 get some of the science related shit, or look into these different chemicals, like you will continue your knowledge. It will, it will, it, dude. You go down these fucking rabbit holes. I've been in for a month now, and just digging and figuring it out. And then asking, oh, why doesn't this do that? Ask these guys, oh, oh, no, it's too much. No, you got to mix it into a paste. Oh, okay, 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 okay. And then then you're doing it, you're figuring it out, and you put it in this jar, and you fucking ruin it, and it sucks. And then this other shit I made with this fucking shellac, and this shellac is so fucking expensive. Not not even liquid shellac. You got to get shellac flakes, and then you got to fucking cook it down, and then fucking... And if it's too much, it just clogs the nib immediately. It's like fucked up. And I don't just have mops like that just laying around. You know, I got, I order fucking 12 mops at a time. Like them bitches are expensive now. That's why when people are like, yo, 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 you sell empty mops? I'll just fucking just go to Amazon and get them. You know what I mean? Like, go to eBay, go to fucking type it in Google. Like, get, get I mean, because I feel fucked up. I'll sell you the whole kit. If you want to do your thing, I'll sell you the fucking the fluid and the mop. But I'm really not into the distribution of empties and shit. I mean, I will, but I'm not big into that, man. Um, I want to sell you the tools to get the job done. You know what I mean? And uh, well, I guess that is too. But you understand what I'm saying. I don't want to be an art store. I want to be a fucking a tool shop. Um, but, but I'm sure. Uh, helping carry Devastator would be the best thing to be to me to be like a fucking an art supplier, but um, I just can't. I don't have the room. I don't have the time. I don't have the fucking capital. I'm going on a million tangents tonight, but I just got so much I want to say. And normally I'm like fucking, oh, I don't know what I'm gonna say, but I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good that that project is coming along. I'm uh, I'm happy about it. And I'm, I'm looking forward to what's, what's next. I'm looking forward to perfecting this shit. I'm looking forward to just making this the best that it can possibly be. Um, and that's just with one little thing, you know, one little, one little project. And uh, and this podcast too, you know. I'm I'm excited. I want it to. Uh, I want this to be something, man. I'm I'm excited for all of this. Motherfucking Amazon said they rolling down the street right now, bitch. I'm in the window. What's good? What's good, fam? Famicom, motherfucker. Um. Anyway, that's what that's what I'm that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> when I do this with uh, with someone else, it's fucking great, man. It's beautiful. And fucking, and and there's no limit. Damn, they're wilding out in them streets. You hear them? It sounds like sounds like my neighborhood when I grew up. Except for this is way more tame, but there is some shit. Some I seen a fucking fiend the other day get arrested like five houses down. She was pushing a fucking baby stroller, talking to a baby that wasn't that did not exist. At least not in this fucking wherever we were all watching that fucking. Then the Jakes pulled up. They were deep as fuck too. You could tell they don't have. I mean, they have some problems out here, but. It was in the city, man. They would just probably just drive by. They sent fucking four cars to come arrest this woman. It was crazy. She was definitely smoking that thing, though. She was a little bit, a little bit, a little bit crazy. 
I mean, fuck, that ain't, you know, saying a whole lot because motherfuckers is crazy everywhere. <sighs> so, where were we? What else do I gotta tell you guys about? Um, still, still working on those caffeine melts, man. I, um, uh, I'm like getting a fucking addicted. And I know I've, I've I've let a couple people try them, and they can't get over to taste the first one. And I didn't think I was gonna be able to after I took the first one, took it, tried it, ate it. But now I'm like so used to that that bitterness that um I uh my fucking kid is riding down a scooter in the middle of the street. It's dark as fuck out. Whatever. Um. Once I got over that initial bitterness, now I can like taste the flavors and shit, all the different flavors, and their flavors are crazy. So we're still doing this fucking project. I don't care what I gotta do, um, but we're gonna be doing that, and uh, and I think you'll, I think you'll like it. Once you get over that initial, if you're a energy drink or a multiple coffee a day, or even just a little, need a little kick before you go out at night. I'm, I'm a, I'm a believer. I'm not just saying that. Believe me, they're not they're not paying me to say that. <laughs> I uh, I'm a fan now, so so I'm I'm excited about that project. And um, Machine Studio and I we still got we still got a project in the works. We're just you know we got a lot of shit going on. All of us, he, man, Bus, I right, Machine, and the whole team over there. Those guys are fucking busy, man. They got a lot going on. They got the full service fucking art shop online, brick and mortar print shop fucking i can't even imagine like i can't even imagine what it would be like having to manage all that that's why i got i got nothing but good things to say about everyone over there they are fucking solid fucking just good ass people and i and i really appreciate them and and bus really he 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 has mentored me and um and and taught me a lot of things about about what this business is about and 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 or even just business in general not even this business you know just ways to ways to focus and get your shit done and get your shit you know fucking in in a straight line so you can see what you have to do and how to tackle things and how not to tackle things you know and um that's really important and because i don't i don't have any formal fucking anything man you know, I can tell you every job I ever worked, I worked at a fucking pizzeria, I built IV pumps, and then I stripped fucking floors, <laughs> and that's all I've ever done, and I'm pushing 40, so I I haven't, uh, I haven't had that much experience, um, but I have, but I haven't, I've never done what I'm doing here, and, um, so I have a lot to learn, and I'm not afraid, and I'm not some fucking weirdo, you know, and he's like, oh, you should do this like this, or you should do that like that, I'm like, yes, yes, please, please tell me, I'm ready, I'm fucking ready to listen, you know, um, so sh- fucking shout out to them, shout out to Pep, shout out to fucking, shout out to Dick, shout out to all you guys, man, I fucking love you guys, fucking, I'm really looking forward to this summer, because I'm gonna try to sneak around and try to meet some people up on the East Coast and um, go have lunch and shit. You know, if everyone's down to meet halfway, you know, meet meet some people, have some lunch, and bring the rig and fucking do a little recording, maybe, or not. It doesn't even matter. Just go and, you know, I got some people that I want to catch up with and see what the fucking what the deal is. See what's the deal. So trying to think all right and i know there's more there's fucking always more i always am done and i'm like oh yeah i forgot about that what the fuck is there i don't know i don't know i think that's about it and if you haven't go to aol underground and listen to the episode single uh single nv2 um that's my episode and I had a lot of fucking fun recording that. That was a that was a good that was a good time in, in reminiscing on the shit, and it was just uh I enjoyed that a lot. Look, I'm looking at this stupid Amazon map because I'm waiting for them to drop this fucking shit off, and it's like it shows that it's like two fucking houses down, which has got to be cap because now it's 8:45 and they're probably gonna be like, oh, clocking out, bitch. See you later, motherfucker. I should just have the kids going on there. Yo, go go get that Amazon, man. Go get that shit. 
Tell me that motherfucker driving away. I don't know. Anyway. Anyway. Which way? I can't even tell what the fuck way this map is pointing. Oh, he's down that way. Motherfucker. Anyway. <laughs> but, yo, know, I, I appreciate you guys tuning in to that fucking Taro episode. Got it fucking jumping. And that means a lot to me. And I know I talked to him. He, he had a lot of fun, too. And it was just a good time. And uh, and I really do hope that I can do a lot more of that. I got I got a lot to fucking work on. I got to catch up on a bunch of these fucking bills. I want to get a camera so we can take better pictures. I want to get fucking oh the cat. He sounds upset. I want to. Uh, there's so much I want to do. I want to get a fucking better computer. I want to get. I want to. I want to be able to do better. I just gotta. Uh, I gotta manage everything else too. So. What's up, Bubba? I'm gonna let him in. Hold on. What's up? You wanna come say hello? You wanna come say hello? Pizza! Where's my pizza, man? Hey, Pito. What you doing? Can you say hello? <laughs> He's looking out the window like he wants to, like he wants to flip out. He's like wants to get out so bad. I feel bad for him. He can't go out there. He'll be dead. Hi, Pito. Hi, Pito. Pito, where's the Amazon man at? See, like I would never do this before. Sit there, chop it up, let the cat in, get up, move around. But this, this whole, this whole shit is, uh, is us. You know, we're all together. And um, and I feel like I can be myself. I'm feeling more and more comfortable. I'm feeling more and more like I can be myself. And it uh, it makes me feel good. And it makes me feel like you guys aren't judging me because I, it's loud in the background. What the fuck is that? That's my man. Yo, Amazon pulled up. Came through in the clutch. Cool, I'm happy. Now my cat's gonna go downstairs. Oh shit, helicopter. Oh shit. The chopper going over. Get to the chopper. But yeah, see, like, I would never do any of this. I would have fucking have been stopped this. I would have stopped the recording. I would have fucking closed up everything. And, and I hope it's alright. And I hope it's okay that I can be myself with you guys. I love you. I love you all. The kids are all fucking hassling the Amazon, man. Leave that motherfucking man alone. All right. I'm I'm going to wrap this one up. But I got some research to do. And keep checking back. Keep checking back. On this buff. On this, on this fucking purple shit and all this shit. All right, guys. I'm out of here.